Hi, my name is John Kim, and I'm a therapist who went through his own rebirth. I share my feelings and revelations. I believe in casual or clinical and with you instead of at you. I come unrehearsed on purpose because self-help doesn't have to be so complicated. If who you're attracted to has not changed since high school or say in your 20s, we need to talk because our love buds should change just like our taste buds. As we grow and evolve, our love palette expands and it should because if it's not, it means that you're not growing in that area. Now, I'm not talking about aesthetics. I'm not talking about types because we all have types and that's probably not going to change that much. It may expand, but you know, I'm talking about um, attraction as a uh, as a whole. I'm talking about relationship dynamics. I'm talking about being drawn to uh, that the space that's created by a certain type of person, right? I'm talking about um, how you are treated, tra- treated, how you're traded, how you're traded in relationships. <laughs> um, maybe you are traded in relationships. I don't know. Maybe that's how you feel. Um, how you're treated in relationships, how you allow people to treat you. So here's what happens. Early on, we have love experiences um, that are usually chaotic and dysfunctional and, and toxic. I mean, we're just fucking splattering paint and exploring and doing what feels um, good, but also doing what feels familiar. And if you, like everyone else on this planet, has <laughs> been through a dysfunctional upbringing, um, there's going to be something that smells familiar, whether you know it or not, uh, with the person that you choose to love when you're in high school or when you're, you know, when you're young, and that's normal and that's okay. And through, unfortunately, heartbreak and a lot of chaos um, and tears, we start to become self-aware. We start to grow. We start to realize that. Um, why we're with someone, we discover words like codependency and uh, <laughs> attachment styles, and we start to learn about ourselves and our issues, quote unquote, right? Um, our fears, like fear of abandonment and and all of that stuff. So, but as we start to to learn about those things, um, our love buds start to change because we start to choose different, or we start to um, be attracted to a, a different type of person. And this is normal, and this is progression, and this is expansion. And if you find yourself um, falling into the same patterns, and the only thing that changes uh, are faces, then it means that you are not changing. It means that you you are not growing and, and evolving. And it's a sign, you know. Um, our love buds, our our taste for our uh, new love experiences should change and should be different. I think that love is its own living, breathing thing, you know, and I don't think that uh, when we're in a relationship that we should put ceilings over our love or put love into a box. And I think that many people do because we want to control our love. Um, We want to, uh, we want our love to look a certain way um, because that makes us feel safe. But if we do that, then we we don't allow love to breathe and evolve and develop. And so there is a part of loving someone where you really have to let go and trust in, in what you're building because there's you, there's your partner, and then there's the thing that you're building or creating or giving birth to, which is the relationship. And the relationship should have um, freedom to kind of become its own thing. And as it does, and especially if you lean into the experience – uh, and then share the experience with your partner, your love buds start to change. I mean, for both of you guys, because what happens is that experience, this new thing that you guys are creating, forms uh, new beliefs. It forms new definitions. It starts to eclipse the old. If it doesn't, I think it's a sign, uh, a, a flag, more, more of a red flag, not a sign. Um, if it doesn't, then I think something's wrong because then it means that you are – uh, you are jumping into old patterns. You are um, probably in something that didn't work before, but you know maybe it, it's it's okay now. But chances are it's not going to work again. Um, or maybe you're emotionally uh, in the same place, you know. Or maybe your growth has been stunted. I don't know. Maybe you're afraid to try something new 
because this is what feels safe and comfortable. Or maybe you don't believe you deserve better, and so you keep jumping into the same uh, dysfunctional or toxic relationship or a relationship where you are um, not treated well, right? We'll be right back after this brief message. If you're like me and you know you need to meditate, but you just can't get it into your daily life, I have the solution for you. Simple Habit. They're an app, and what makes them different is they have hundreds of experts doing all different forms of meditation, so it's not just one platform with one expert doing one type of meditation. They even have very specific meditations uh, to your life problems. So, for example, if you're nervous about a big meeting or if you want, you know, meditations about uh, parenting issues they they have very niche meditations which makes it really powerful finally uh they have short meditations that can be consumed in like five minutes so it's like what i do right in a shot glass these guys do that for meditations and i think that's what that's what makes them very powerful and practical and it's what's going to get you to thread it into your life. So go to simplehabit.com forward slash angry and you will get 30% off their premium subscription. And this is only for the first 50 listeners. Now, when you get the premium subscription, you get access to thousands of meditations. Go to simplehabit.com forward slash angry and get 30% off their premium subscription for the first 50 listeners. Go get your calm on. Now, as you start to grow, as you start to create different beliefs about yourself and your love buds start to change, usually what you're attracted to today, or wait, 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 no, usually what you were attracted to yesterday, um, you are today uh, repelled by. So, and again, I'm not talking about like types or like, like, like for example, I'm a, um, I'm an ass man. <laughs> And uh, not that I don't like um, breasts, but I, I like I'm, I'm, I like butts. Uh, and so I'm always going to be a butt guy, okay? And so that's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, relationship dynamics. I'm talking about um, stuff that's running underneath. I'm talking about um, picking the spaces that, that, uh, that we choose, choose to uh, – live in, you know, and the, the spaces that are created by your partners, um, that stuff. So now I'm bird walking, but going back to this idea of love buds and, and that they should change. If you find that, um, you're, you're, you're picking the same type of person, you have to start picking someone different. And here, here's the pushback. It's going to feel weird. Um, it's going to feel weird because you're not used to something different or new. And then you may run or dismiss it or not give it a chance or blame it on lack of chemistry or whatever because um, it's something that you're not – yeah, that you're not used to. So if you actually swim past that and you sit with it and you, and of course you're making a wise choice and also yes there of course there has to be some kind of chemistry i'm not saying that just to pick someone that, that that's good that's good on paper um but if you start to put weight on different things so it's not just about things that um were important to you before but now you know uh there's other things that are really important to you in a relationship because you realize that relationships take work and if your partner doesn't have tools then it's going to be really difficult. So you start to put weight on different things and you start to um, lead it into new experiences. So then with experiences comes a shift internally, um, a shift in beliefs, uh, beliefs about love, beliefs about what love should look like, beliefs about what healthy love should look like, uh, beliefs about yourself, what you bring to the table, what you deserve, all of that stuff, you know. Let me give you an example. If you were in relationships where you didn't express yourself and partly because you grew up not um, able to do that because that space wasn't promoted. So you didn't really have tools uh, to express yourself. It's not a muscle that you used, right? And so in relationships, you always found yourself in relationships where you were not heard, 
And then finally, you realize that that is a problem that you need to be heard because that shit turns into anger and resentment and all of that. Um, so you finally pick someone who creates a space where you are actually heard. And then when you express yourself, you realize the sky didn't fall and that, that you guys didn't break up. And then you're like, whoa, this is weird. Well, this is where the road forks. And usually most people bounce because it doesn't feel like it used to. <laughs> and they, they label that. Um, but if you choose to stay in that, if you choose to give yourself a new experience, this is when your love buds start to change. This is when you tip. This is when you experience something new and then realize that this is now what you want, right? This is when you taste something different and you're like, oh, wow, you know, I, I didn't know this existed. Now I'd rather have this and that. And so to give yourself new experiences is really important. And to do that, you may have to um, not listen to your uh, – how do I explain this? You have to to walk that line between um, listening to uh, your brain and choosing wisely and also listening to your heart and soul and what something feels like in your body, all of that, um, not just falling for someone because you're attracted to them, not just um, investing in something because it makes sense, right? So I think walking that line and uh, being at the intersection between or at the intersection of um, what something feels like, knowing that it's new and different and healthy, um, also logic, without being too narrow, right? We, we don't want to use checklists, but, but logically, you know, if, if this works for you. Um, and then your heart, you know, what is your heart telling you? So if you if you live somewhere at the intersection of those three, then chances are you will give yourself a new love experience. And as you do that, your love buds will change and grow. And if you are in a relationship, it doesn't um, or a healthy or amazing relationship, your your love buds can still change and grow, and they will. It's the, you know just because you're in a healthy relationship doesn't mean that you stop growing. Healthy relationships actually do the opposite; they encourage growth and your uh, evolution for both people and as you guys grow um your definitions of love and your love buds grow and there is beauty in that so anyway just another way to look at love and um the kind of love that you want to build thank you for listening be well hey before you go if you like my ramblings and revelations and shares, I am now texting people directly to their phone. Just go to my website, theangrytherapist.com. If you want to subscribe, I'll be doing weekly texts, five days a week, reminders and also uh, mindsets and uh, exercises and challenges. And every week there will be a different theme, a different topic. So I hope to see you in your phone. And also, if you enjoy this conversation, I hope you help me uh, spread the dialogue and help other people by sharing it. You never know what people need to hear. So if it's helped you, I hope you uh, can help me help others. Thank you. Hey, if you have a passion to help others and want to become a life coach, or you just want to acquire tools to change your own life, learn more about our Catalyst Life Coaching Intensive. We are an evidence-based training program with an amazing, authentic, vibrant community, and we give lifetime support. Just go to my website, theangrytherapist.com, and click on Life Coach Training.